Assalamu alaikum dears, myself SLK and here in this section we will be just designing a circular sedimentation tank. Remember in the previous lecture we have already designed a rectangular sedimentation tank. Here our approach is only the design of a circular sedimentation tank. Remember the sedimentation tank is also known by a settling tank. For circular sedimentation tank design, we will just give solution to a problem. Say, if you are asked to design a circular sedimentation tank only for a capacity of 10,000 cubic meter per day and the water will stay only for 2 hours in the tank. This is also known by detention period. If you see, I think the data is just enough to design the circular sedimentation tank. And here the design means just to determine the diameter and the depth or the height of the tank. If you see the tank capacity is just in cubic meter per day, I just need the capacity to be in form of volume. And the tank capacity is just 10,000 cubic meter per day, I'll just divide this video by 24 because one day is just 24 hours. If you see the water will only stay for 2 hours in the tank, not for 24 hours or for one day. So I also just involve the spectre in this capacity formula. And this is just the fourth impact uh, maths of course. Uh, if the water capacity is 10,000 cubic meter just in 24 hours, how much will be just in two hours? So uh, do some plug and chug and you'll get of course 833.34 cubic meter is the capacity of given tank. Now this is just in form of volume, right? And the volume of circular sedimentation tank may be just in this form, the area of the base times the height. Because this is just a cylinder, a circular cylinder, a hollow cylinder maybe, okay? And the volume, remember the area of the base, this is just a, a circular base, all right? This is a circular sedimentation tank. So the area of the base will be just pi d squared divided by four, or just pi r squared, no problem. You can use one in these formulas times the height or the depth. Uh, I don't have many rooms in this page, so let me start a new page. The volume is pi d squared divided by 4 times the height. If you see the diameter is unknown, the height is also unknown. So we should assume one thing. Let's assume the height or the depth is just 3 meter. This is a nice assumption. No problem, if you design your tank and the diameter is just a not good value, you can of course change your assumption and review your design. This will depend upon your site. For this time, let's try 3 meter as the height of the tank. And let me put this video in this formula. Remember the volume is given, which is of course 833.34 cubic meter. We did this guy a few minutes ago. The diameter is unknown, so pi d squared divided by 4 times the height. The height is just 3 meter. If you do some short maths, like uh, 3 times pi divided by 4, this is of course 2.356 and d squared. Just dividing both sides by 2.356, we can get of course d squared equals 353.68. Remember we only need d which is just the diameter of sedimentation tank, so we just need to put square roots on both sides. You can get of course d equals 18.8 meter. Let me just assume or say the diameter is just 19 meter. Because 18.8 meter is just of course the same value as 19 meter. This is just uh, so adjacent to 19, okay? Uh, only just uh, 20 centimeter is just the difference, no problem. So uh, I think 19 meter is a better value for diameter, okay? If 19 meter is not suitable for your side, I mean, if you don't have uh, much site for uh, 19 meter as the diameter of the tank, of course, you can just increase the depth or the height of this tank. Of course, your diameter will decrease gradually. In short term, if your site is not good for 19 meter as the diameter of the given sedimentation tank, just increase the depth or the height of the tank. Of course, 19 meter, which is the diameter, will come down. So we got a nice value for diameter of the tank, which is 19 meter. Remember the depth or the height of the given tank is just 3 meter. And this was just our assumption. Let me just provide 1 meter for sludge and 0.5 meter is free board. 
So the total depth must be 3 meter plus 1 meter plus 0.5 meter. This is of course 4 per 5 meter. And this is it of course. We have done it. The design means just to determine the diameter and the depth of the tank. And we have done it. The diameter is 19 meter and the depth is 4.5 meter. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time and wassalam.